Fortnite's waves are rising with my excitement as we await season three. But as we say goodbye to the map we've all come to know and love, some other things also wait for us beneath. Sucks. He's shooting through the ground! Yeah, maybe you were thinking of Atlanteans or something, but unfortunately, this is 25 Fortnite fails. Hit that sub button for 65 damage or more. Let's see who can hit higher than that with bullet spread. Code T5G in that shop, and let's jump to number 25. If you've ever played a fighting game such as Super Smash Bros, a counter or reflector probably isn't a new concept to you. But this is Fortnite, a game where it's completely okay to spray bullets at your enemies with little to no hesitation. After watching this fail, you may want to think choice before firing rockets at a motorboat. Our friend here wasn't expecting a random motorboat to take the damage so personally and absolutely eat him across the map. I'm not even sure what happened here, but it's absolutely hilarious. What a way to go. Number 24. Situational awareness is one of the most important aspects to any competitive video game, especially in Fortnite where you're never really safe. You've always got to keep your head on the pulse and keep track of every little detail during engagements. In this fail, we see what starts off to be a pretty strategic play. The only problem is that our poor friend didn't realize that another enemy tossed grenades into the same room he did. So when the fight was over, he fell right into the explosive mess of loot. I hate to say it, but this guy kind of got what he deserved for camping in that corner. Number 23. Rocket riding will forever be a staple of Fortnite culture. Here, we see a perfect example of how to utilize rocket riding to its full advantage, soaring through the sky straight over some enemies. At this point, dude's basically an AC-130 from MW2 throwing nades down at the enemies and absolutely ruining their day. Unfortunately for him, this play comes to an end when he falls directly onto a motorboat. I'm not even sure how he managed to be this unlucky, considering how much water there is for him to land in. Must have been instant karma for raining down those nades. Number 22. Even though it's a risky play, jumping out of the choppa is sometimes the only option. Although this choice is a bit easier when you've got crash pads to help you reach the ground safely. But when you're not the only one who's going to use the crash pad, you gotta make sure that your teammates are gonna make it down safely as well. Unfortunately for the pilot of this choppa, his teammate wasn't much of a team player and completely ruined his day by bouncing him straight into his falling teammate. This, ladies and gentlemen, is how friendships are ruined. Always look after your teammates. But here comes number 21. As much as I wish it was, stealth just isn't an important mechanic in Fortnite. Cranking 90s is much more effective than tiptoeing around the grotto and sneaking up on your enemies. This clip is a perfect example of this, with an extra punch to the gut for the poor guy that we're spectating. Bruh. Not only did he think the enemy hadn't hurt him, he also got reeled in by the mighty fishing pole and subsequently exploded by his own rocket. Number 20. Ever since Chapter 2 began, the Fortnite patch notes have been rather disappointing to say the least. But even with Epic's recent lack of communication, I wouldn't be surprised to see the motorboat temporarily disabled while the team works on fixing this guy's terrible luck. In all fairness, even though it works pretty well, the motorboat obviously isn't intended to be driven on land. Despite that fact, it was working out pretty well until this poor guy was thrown to his demise. Straight, straight, straight under the map. <clears throat> Number 19. Usually when you think of the phrase threading the needle, you think of those insane RPG and sniper shots that somehow connect with your target. Well, this guy's luck is on another level, and he somehow ended up making threading the needle a bad thing. Man's rocket decided to take the day off right out the window. Number 18. During the intense final moments of a Fortnite match, it's important to keep your composure and think before you act. The slightest little mistake can easily cost you the victory royale. In case you need an example of what this bat of luck looks like, look no further than this clip. <laughs> Guy thought he was slick using a launch pad to rotate, but instead he got diced into Jonesy soup. <laughs> Number 17. One of the many harsh realities of gaming is just because you see it in a YouTube video does not mean that you can do it. Sorry to bring the bad news, but hopefully Real Razor's heartbreaking endgame choke proves this. Oh, that wasn't even EJ. So, uh, how y'all doing today? <laughs> Number 16. Have you ever had those bad days where absolutely nothing seems to go right? Well, I have a feeling that this next guy knows the feeling all too well. 
as the clip begins, we can already see that his entire squad has been eliminated. He's the last one left and the enemies have rockets. Not only does he get knocked to one HP, but just as he thinks he's safe from the incoming rockets, the explosion sends him falling straight onto a trap. <laughs> <laughs> Number 15. The circle of life moves through us all, sometimes a lot quicker than you'd expect. After demonstrating patience greater than a Shaolin monk, our boy finally goes in for that perfect headshot elimination and of course completely nails it. But before he even has a chance to celebrate, it's almost as if his bullet curved around and took him out as well. And it's crazy to think, if he was even a second later, he would have gotten that elimination before getting sniped. Number 14. I've gotta admit, before seeing this clip, I've never seen a Choppa develop a hatred for its own pilot. As the Choppa is going down, the pilot jumps out at the last second and aims for the water to break his fall. But the Choppa had other plans in mind and yeeted him towards land as revenge for destroying it. Unlucky number 13. While crash pads may be one of the best ways of preventing fall damage in Fortnite, there are a few other methods to saving your legs if you're in a tight situation, the best of which is dropping into water. But what are you even supposed to do when less than a second of airtime results in you being drowned while you're in the water? Yeah, I'll keep the harpoon, we fish later. We gotta go zone though. What? What? Dude. What just Wait. happened, bro? <laughs> oh, you, did I just kill you with the boat? <laughs> bro, what is, yo, why are you crawling in the water, yo? Yo, stop crawling, dude. Wait. What are you Wait. doing? Bro, bro I see, yeah, it's glitch, bro, it's glitch. What are you, it's glitch, bro. it's glitch, yo, it's glitch. Yo, what the f Dude, I I'm can't go, yo, crawl out of here, bro. I don't know about you guys, but sometimes I wonder if Epic's just watching players and deciding to mess with them like this. Number 12. When you've got the low ground to your opponent, you're kind of forced to make split-second decisions to try and get on their level. When done right, things will usually work out in your favor. But if you're unlucky like this guy, you might end up be hopping right off the mountain. Ah! Number 11. As they say, you can't rush perfection. When landing the choppa, especially on top of a tower, you've got to take your time to land it right. If you don't, you might completely miss your mark and embarrassingly fall to your demise. Poor guy. Sheesh. <laughs> Number 10. There are very few feelings worse than being eliminated by the exact person in which you just eliminated. Just when you think you've won the fight, man comes back from the grave and robs you of any satisfaction. Oh! Not, not today. Oh, actually, never mind. He did it. Oh. Uh, number nine. When you go over the edge of a waterfall, the only worry on your mind is usually whether or not you'll hit the ground or water. But in Fortnite, you've got to keep out for those players who decide that building a bridge at the bottom is an effective strategy. In defense of the bridge builder, intentional or not, he completely ruined this guy's game in a hilarious way. Number eight. I don't know what kind of school this guy went to, but I'm pretty sure we were all taught that if you see or hear something burning, don't go and investigate. <laughs> ah! Fluck was definitely not on this guy's side because not only did he get exploded by a gas pump, but he also got knocked over the ledge and into the canyon. Number seven. In a game like Fortnite, RNG can completely make or break your game. Without the early game loot, you're sometimes better off just restarting completely. Our friend here knows this all too well, as he was given two Kingsman umbrellas and two healing items right at the start of the game. I mean, who needs a gun when you've got an umbrella? Right, guys? Yay! It's an umbrella. What? Gotta, gotta. Number six. Some of you guys are insane at building, but how many of you can say that you build faster than the game can even process? Majora's reaction time here was mental, as he managed to get a wall up before taking too much damage. Sadly for him, the game still thought he had the RPG equipped and he comedically eliminated himself. Oh god. <laughs> Number 5. In any competitive setting, one of the greatest feelings is pure confidence that you're going to win the match. When these situations happen, it's easy to lose track of your goal and get a little overconfident, ultimately resulting in us taking the fattest of L's. Here we see Dark AC getting a little too confident and telling his teammate to join him in smacking the opponent down with their pickaxes. While they were able to get him to low HP, they just couldn't finish the job. Now the worst part is the enemy wasn't even the one to eliminate them, even if the yelling makes you think otherwise.
Number four. We've got to give the emotes team in Epic Games some credit. The new Scootin' emote is hilarious and a huge reason why we get amazing fails such as this one. As we always say, there's nothing wrong with taking a little break from Battle Royale and letting some of the stress out, especially if you take a relaxing ride on one of your grandparents' mobility scooters. Russ Kane was out for a nice sunset drive with his friend, but this pleasant stroll took a turn for the worst when he glanced to the side to see a rocket headed straight for his face. <laughs> Remember kids, always look both ways before crossing the road. Either that or install nitrous in your mobility scooters. Number three. To be completely surrounded in a game of Fortnite always presents an uneasy feeling. This already infuriating situation is only made worse when Chap realizes that he could be getting stream sniped. It's in the door. I got up top. I'm getting pickaxe fought by two people here, no joke. After struggling to escape into a nearby phone booth, the relentless stream snipers were waiting for him on the other side to secure the early game elimination before he even had a chance. No way they messed that up. Bro, how are these kids here now? Stream sniping losers double landed on me, dude. Honestly, these situations suck. I'd say that his rage was completely justified. Let it out, man. Number two. One of the most fun things to do is jumping from crash pad to crash pad to rotate to the next circle or just go for an insane play. Unfortunately, this Reddit user experienced a new buff while rotating to the next storm zone. After he used all five of his crash pads, he decided to continue his path on foot, but because of some unlucky glitch, he ended up being eliminated by fall damage. Perhaps the weirdest part of this clip is that just moments before being eliminated, you can still see the purple glow in his character, which indicates that he should have lived to fight another fight. Fault damage is too OP, Epic. Please nerf it. Come on, Epic. Let's get some smash like. Subscribe to the channel. Let's do it, boys. Get rid of fall damage 2020. Number one. Despite what common sense and literally every other video game says, Fortnite decided that landing in the blades of a choppa is perfectly fine and won't always actually do damage to you. But while you may not always be instantly turned into bits, the blades can deflect you, sending you flying into the unknown. I can't believe I have to say this, but here's a tip for those of you who don't want to end up in our next fails video. If you're trying to get into a choppa, use the doors. You definitely can't enter through the roof. I promise. But that's been 25 Fortnite Fails. If you enjoyed this one, check out our other video right over here, and I'll see you guys over there. This has been Sam from Top 5 Gaming, and I'll see you guys in the next video.